I had three cyber attackers. One threatened to kill me. He apologized three days ago. Another one um, did hate crimes against me and my family. He shut down his operation um, last night and has asked for forgiveness. Closed down his, his channel on YouTube. The last person, uh, I've been watching his site. He has not been online since five days ago from his attack. I have been contacting him. I've been leaving messages for him, explaining some things about the new laws in town. So I suspect he'll be coming around soon or he's gonna see some representatives of mine at his doorstep. Could be very embarrassing. See, the thing is, I don't even have to prosecute and win. All I have to do is prosecute. As soon as he's outed, it's over. It's over for this guy. I'll tell you why. There's that Skanks of New York lawsuit that was just won. It sets a landmark case. It basically says, if somebody does a crime to you, like on YouTube, you don't have to win the case. All you have to do is sue YouTube or Google or whomever, and they will, if they lose, which they did in this case, they'll have to provide you with the information of your perpetrator. So if some guy attacks you, you don't have to win the case. The important thing is you know who he is now. You know his address, you know where he lives. You can show up and meet his parents. I've got enough money where I can spend three or $4,000 on a private investigator and send them over to visit a stalker. Imagine that moment, how interesting and enlightening that would be. It hasn't had to come to that point yet. I don't even need a private investigator. And if you don't have the money for a private investigator, it's the internet. They don't know anything about you. Pretend that you do. My uh, cyber stalker said that I cursed him. If, if trolls, people who are behaving like trolls want to believe that there's a curse, I'm all for it. Because the curse is just their heart. Tell them if somebody attacks you, say, until you do right by me, your life will never turn out good. Things will never work out for you. This is my curse on you. Hey, there's nothing wrong. Hey, if they say you should die and all these horrible things, there's nothing wrong with them carrying around a curse until they do something good. But it wasn't a curse, it was his heart. Contact the Electronic Frontier Foundation, the Electronic Frontier Foundation. They may go to bat for you for a lawsuit against a troll. The Cyber Law Clinic might help you. The American Civil Liberties Union might also help you. YouTube is privately owned. It is not free speech when you speak on YouTube. You're speaking on someone's private property. Their property is in California. California has hate crime statutes. So if you call somebody the N-word or threaten them because of their race or religion, you can go to prison. If you are from another country and you commit one of these crimes, you can be tried in an American court. I was able with a little investigation to find out a lot about my attackers. You contact and you see who their subscribers are, who their friends are, what videos they favorited and what videos they've commented on. Go to each place and just keep going out a little bit further. All of a sudden you find their friends. And then you find a friend that has a Facebook connection. And their friends are most likely friends with them on Facebook. And you just start tracking around. You can do enough investigation online where you can come up with, as I have, the identities of your stalkers. Um, but I don't need to use the identities of my stalkers because my stalkers have closed up their shops. It's important to show the love. When they attack you, don't say horrible things back because you need a good case. If you said as many bad things back at them as they said at you, all of a sudden your case in court looks bad. I don't want to be in lawsuits and I don't want to be attacked by any more trolls. My wife doesn't want our family attacked anymore. My wife is pushing me to make Cleave on America, where well, you have to be a friend to comment. And I'm seriously considering doing it. She says I'm jeopardizing the safety of the family, and I believe she's right. So in the next few days, I just last troll to work things out with because uh, I may have to put him in prison. I mean, this guy could do 10 years. This guy could do 10 years in prison for attacking me. And you don't ever have to have trolls anymore. With the new laws and the ability to track these people, um, Trolling on the internet is going to be a thing of the past and it's a good thing for, for YouTube too because it kills business. Nobody wants to comment. Nobody, pardon my French, I'm going to say a bad word, nobody wants to be called a fucktard. I didn't even know what that was. I'm sick of being called names. I'm called names. You know, you know someone calls me the F word or, or N word or something. Someone calls me something like that three times a day and it's tiring. I'm worn down. I fought this troll that I had, this guy that was attacking me. I fought him for a week. 
I made him sick to his stomach. I made him ill. He made me ill. I was carrying around all these horrible threats about my child. I'm sick of it. Because you know what? There's going to be more trolls that are going to come along and they're going to want to see if I really will take them to court. I'd like to just protect my family and I think I'm going to make some changes around here and make it safe for people to come to our house, to come to Cleveland, America and have conversations. And I don't want to control people from sharing their opinions. I just don't want any cruelty. You can say something bad about something. I just don't want cruelty. I'll take a little cruelty if it's funny. But I think I might have to start editing this site because I'm, I'm, I'm sick of attack, attacks every single day. I got called the F word 10 minutes ago and it was a misunderstanding. Cleveland, America!